Hey guys, it's Aiden here and welcome back to Assetto Corsa for another video. Now today we're going back to the 90s with this, the VRC Williams Renault FW19, which is to date the last Williams to win the Driver and Constructors Championships, a full 20 years ago. Oh man, do I feel old right now. I mean, I'm going to be 27 in October. <laughs> But anyway, the 1997 championship was decided under highly controversial circumstances as championship leader Michael Schumacher deliberately rammed Jacques Villeneuve whilst trying to defend his race lead in the final round of the championship at Jerez in Spain. Schumacher came to a halt in the gravel trap and was deemed at fault for the accident by the FIA, being punished by way of stripped of his second place in the championship, and Villeneuve finished third in the race behind the McLaren cars of Mika Hakkinen and David Coulthard. Uh, Villeneuve won seven races that year, but would never win a Formula 1 Grand Prix again before his 2006 retirement. 1997 also saw the retirement of Gerhard Berger after many years in the sport, as well as the first race wins for Heitzel, Fretz and Emmler and Mika Hakkinen at Hireth. Now a little fun fact, as of 2017, this is the last season to be won by a non-European driver. Now the actual car. The Williams FW19 was the car with which the Williams Formula 1 team used to compete in the 1997 Formula 1 season. It was driven by Jacques Villeneuve, who was in his second year with the team, and Heinz Harald Frentzen, who moved from Sauber to replace the dropped 1996 champion Damon Hill, who moved to Arrows. The test drivers that Williams employed for that year were Jean-Christophe Bouillon and Juan Pablo Montoya. The car was the development of the extremely successful FW18, which had comfortably won both titles in 1996. It was also the last Williams chassis to receive input from designer Adrian Newey, who left the team to join McLaren. It was the last, uh, last, uh, it was the last uh, Williams car to run a works Renault engine before the French Mark's temporary withdrawal. However, 1997 was more difficult for Williams, as they faced a tough season-long challenge from Ferrari. After a controversial collision between Villeneuve and Schumacher in the season finale, the Canadian took the Drivers' Championship, with the team claiming the Constructors' Championship at the previous race at Suzuka. Frentzen, by contrast, had a disappointing year and could win only one race to Villeneuve 7. However, he did finish second in the Drivers' Championship due to the disqualification of Michael Schumacher. The car, as previously mentioned, was the last Williams to use the highly successful, naturally aspirated Renault RS9 V10 engine, along with the in-stock, in-house in Williams gearbox. The car used ELF fuel, castor oil, Petsky shock absorbers and AP racing carbon disc brakes. It was also the last time a car running Goodyear tyres won the Constructors' Championship, giving way to Bridgestone from 1998 until 2005. So that's enough spiel about the car, let's move on to the actual model. Now VRC, I think, are trying very hard to stake a claim as the best modding team in a set of Corsa, and I don't blame them. Because this thing looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, I will point out this is a paid beta you donate I think it's three dollars which at last count was about two pound two pound twenty something like that anyway so for less than a cup of coffee you can have access to this fantastic car uh, now this is the good bit this is I think this is 0.1 beta I'll have to double check but because I have got too carried away when I saw that this thing had been released but if I just put that rotation speed onto zero and then click here and go back through every single livery that Williams ran that year is available. Every single one. So round one, two, uh, oh, round one, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And then you've got all of Frenson's liveries as well every single one is here which is absolutely unbelievable but i'm going to leave uh round 16 uh livery up because we're going to go to suzuka and suzuka was round 16. looking at the back we zoomed right in on the rothmans logo here no blur all that carbon fiber detail all the moldings in the detail on the uh goodyear tires if we move around to the front oh, that's cool for racing purposes only, do not use on the highway. And the prints all faded on it as well. They've got the Made in USA moulding and it's just... Wow. We've got the... Uh, there it is, there's the Senna logo underneath the... Sort of in between the two pylons that hold the, the front wing on. Now I actually had a model of this car when I was a kid. Um, don't know what happened to it. 
I think my parents might still have it somewhere, but I had uh, one of this, this card. It looks very similar to the FW18, uh, which I tested in a set of, not in a set of course, sorry, in R Factor 2. It's the ASR version, and uh, the link to that will be up there in the top right hand corner. And they've got the little the camera, as was back then. Castrol logos, Falk logos, I think that's how you pronounce that. But everything's here. Um, I'm looking at pictures of it and yeah it's it's all here so let's just get this thing to Suzuka and have some fun but uh, oh quickly before we do let's just go and have a look inside the car I'm expecting this to look very similar to the FW18 in the inside because you know don't fix what ain't broken and all of that got a little red light tells us when we need to upshift and we have a steering wheel we have some seat belts and that's pretty much it very basic back in these days so uh, yeah what we'll do is we shall go to Suzuka go around on the default setup and have some fun so I will see you very very soon all right so welcome back uh, we're here at Suzuka and this is all default setup so um, these are my these are my gears tires fuel I'm not gonna need that much am I Put 25 litres in just so we can get some initial impressions. Aero, which is actually for Suzuka, that's all right. That is uh, alignment, dampers, drivetrain, generic suspension. That's all right. That is uh, anti roll bar, yeah, it's suspension secondary, and a pit stop strategy, strategy <laughs> which I'm not going to need. Um, so, yeah, fully basic setup. In Jacques' car, first impressions, this is the first time I've driven the car, so hopefully the sound levels are okay uh, and everything else. So let's just, let's not muck about, Let, let's let's do a serious review of this car. And no bias either, considering I'm a Williams fan. So, uh, we're in the cockpit, we've got some nice details all round, uh, on the gloves, on the steering wheel, we've got some other bits and bobs going on in the cockpit. Got a man. Uh, got a V10 behind me. Let's get my foot on the brake. Six nice forward gears. And one for reverse. So, 25 litres of fuel. You can see my gear counter. That little hump in the middle has a red light on it to tell me where I need to upshift, which is on the FW18. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's just go. Uh, it's like going on my driving test. All right. Oh. Oh my God. Well, no one warned me about that. <laughs> Jesus, just got the shock of my fucking life. Not only is the noise incredible, but the grip. I've only just come out of the pits. It's like I can drive at race pace already. Holy balls. What were Williams doing? <laughs> oh, here we go again. <laughs> okay, it doesn't like that. <laughs> Um, let's try that again <laughs> this time without having the shit scared out of me I I know it's not going to come through on the video very well but in my ears I've got I've got the noise at a decent level but it was like nice and quiet and chill and then it just it's just attacking my eardrums Oh my goodness. And apologies if I'm cursing a blue moon, but... The FW18 for, for R Factor 2 has got nothing on this. And I'm sorry. I love that car, but... Oh! 
<laughs> I'm just going to forget anything else I've ever driven. I'm just going to drive this all day. Fuck it. <laughs> Let's try and get a full lap in without binning it. Be gentle on the on the gas. And like the Renault, it doesn't like being abused in the As soon as that red light comes on, change gear. There it goes. Flat? Yeah, fuck it, why not? And on the brakes into the into the chicane. Clip the apex one. Clip the apex two. And like I said, like the Renault, it doesn't like being taken to a certain point, otherwise that status indicator is just going to start flashing at you. And I will point out that at lower revs this engine is very quiet but at higher revs it's very loud so if I can find anything to fix right now it's that. This car just gives you instant confidence. And I just abused that curve through the first part of Degna. I wouldn't have got away with that in any other car. I guarantee you. I think I've found out where the power band is now. Oops. Let's get my line right through here. Suspension could do with being a little bit softer to maybe get on those curves. It's a third party track so I'm not expecting it to be perfect. Another lap, come on. So, I mean, it's, it's gone very quiet now. And then it will go loud. I guess that's why they call it the loud pedal. Oh, no, I've run out of talent. Took it too far. Oh. Brakes are very good, but she's very squirrely. If you try to abuse that gas pedal, she will kick out on you. I'm not even at full throttle until I'm halfway through that last corner. Oh, no, no. Whoa. I got on two wheels then because the steering just went really light. Ah, uh, no, I was too aggressive on my, too aggressive on the gas again.
<laughs> be gentle. <laughs> be very gentle. Doesn't like that, does it? Okay, let's go back to the pits then. Let's have a quick fiddle with these gears. I'm just going to make that one click longer. Let's see what that does. Oopsie daisy. Oh, what's gone wrong now? I was doing so well. That's not better. I'm just trying to let you enjoy the sounds of this thing whilst trying to concentrate on not crashing. Oh, I've done it again. Okay. Right, so. Oh, back to the pit lane. Uh, I'm just going to put that back to where it once was. Um, so, that is the Williams FW19. Um, I wish I had more to say about it other than. Wow! Um, that noise, the grip, everything. Uh, I'm going to do the external shots now so you can see, uh, we'll see, and hear how awesome this thing is uh, when it's going around a track. So. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you really enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you very, very soon. Until then, I've been Aidan Millward. Thank you. Have a fantastic day wherever you live in the world. And I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye.